first film of 2023. I'm here at Ibrook Reservoir in Rutland on this beautiful winter's morning. I hope that 2023 will be a fresh start for me. But having said that, as far as filmmaking is concerned, I thought I'd return to the nature notebook format. Like last year, it looks as though Ibrook is going to be a good location to see these birds smew. A drake has just surfaced and swims right to left across the frame before diving under once again. But it isn't long before the bird surfaces once again. It's not the best view as it swims behind some bushes. I can hear a herring gull calling but looking out on the ice it looks like mainly black-headed gull. And on the shoreline, there are a group of mallard. And looking further out, there's a small group of goldeneye. Three females and the drake. And there's widgeon too. In winter, you get huge flocks flying in from Iceland. Scandinavia and Russia. It really is a stunningly perfect winter's day with a hoar frost. When I left home this morning it was minus six but there's no wind chill. So as long as you wrap up warm it's a perfect day to be out and about. And here's another better view of a male smew. In fact there's two out there just in front of us. What a striking bird. Smew are winter visitors to the UK and small numbers come from Scandinavia and Russia but sometimes birds move here from Holland and Denmark to escape freezing weather there. Well I don't know about Holland and Denmark but the weather here is certainly freezing although the frost is started to disappear from the fields now but as you can see there's a real sharp hoar frost on the surrounding hedges and trees. Well, I've just moved maybe 50 yards or so further on just to have a clearer view looking down the shoreline. And we've got teal down there and mallard, more widgeon. There's a couple of grey lag there just at the water's edge. And a small group of lapwing, not that many though. But I'm going to go back to the car and drive a little bit further down the perimeter road. Well, here we are. We've got a, quite a substantial flock of feeding widgeon here. And apparently they have to feed for between 10 and 14 hours a day to get any nutrients from the grass. Because they're not very good at processing. And there's another grey lag. And that's nice. I've got a brown hair just running past us there. Always lovely to see. Just disappears from view. And another lapwing. There doesn't seem to be much going on at the northern end of the reservoir, so we're going to check out the viewpoint on the other side. And here we are. We just got a grey heron flying across but further down the shoreline there I've just seen a great white egret fly in and indeed there we are hunting on the shoreline a bird that's getting more and more common and of course you always see a line of cormorant here this one drying its wings and it looks like the great white egret it's going to come out from the shoreline to give us a better view. And here's another species to add to the list. It's uh, a shell duck. It looks like a, a juvenile. And the great white had just flown across to a different position to resume hunting. Another 
other species of wildfowl. It's a gadwall. And I think an excellent way of ending this first film of 2023 is a view of these striking male pintail. Hope you enjoyed the film and hopefully it won't be long before I mount and bow again. Thanks for watching.